Today's Gospel describes the commissioning of the 12 apostles sent out with power and authority over all demons and to cure all diseases, they started their teaching and mission of healing. According to the action, the plan that Jesus designed. Jesus gave the apostles the instructions and a few travel tips. It's clear that Jesus meant the apostles to take no supplies for the road. They were simply to trust that God would open their hearts, they open the hearts of the believers to take care of their needs. Jesus' instruction also suggests that the apostles should not be like the accusative Jewish priests of the day who are interested only in gaining riches. Instead, they should be walking examples of God's love and providence in action. When Jesus sent out the 12, he told them to take nothing with them. I suspect none of us would act or set out on a journey with at least some sort of preparation. I can speak for myself, and I was told of the good news that I was assigned to Mary Queen as pastor a few months ago. I was already thinking of making plans, preparations, shipping books and clothes and what to leave and what to take. In fact, I sent 17 boxes of uh, materials. Moreover, I also took a lot of stuff in the car coming to Mary Queen. So we all do some sort of preparation when we set out on a journey. We like to be independent, self-sufficient, and we want to be in control of the journey. The message of the gospel is so clear. At the end of the day, we all are self, we are not self-sufficient. We depend on the Lord for everything. God provides. Jesus gave the apostles instructions as to how and how they should be disposed. And they had a mission to fulfill, the preaching and teaching that Jesus taught them. The mission was there to fulfill through the apostles, and so Jesus chose 12 apostles and, and they later on 72. And then us, we are the apostles and disciples of Jesus today to fulfill the mission Jesus entrusted to us. In accord with the subjectivism of our culture, many Christians think of their spiritual lives in an individualist way, as the cultivation of, the, of their personal friendship with God. But it overlooks something that the New Testament authors took for granted, namely that Christians exist not, not for themselves, but for God. It's all about God. It's not about us. We exist for God, we live for God, and we have a purpose in this life as Christians. 
One great saint who served God and fulfilled God's purpose in life was St. Vincent de Paul, whose feast we celebrate today. In 1617, while hearing confession of a sick farmer, he realized the terrible spiritual conditions of peasants in France. From that moment, he determined to offer his life for the care of the poor. In 1626, Vincent founded the, con the Congregation of the Mission. He also established the Confraternity of Charity to attend to the spiritual and material needs of the poor. He invoked the assistance of the wealthy women of France. He told them, it is our duty to prefer the service of the poor to everything else. If a needy person requires medicines or other help, he said, during prayer time or at any time, do whatever has to be done with peace of mind, and then offer the deed to God as your prayer. So St. Vincent de Paul even preferred the works of charity, helping people over the worship, the prayer. The gospel says, Jesus summoned the 12 and gave them power and authority over all demons and cure diseases. There are many demons in that control our lives, isn't it, today? There are many evils in our society that influence us. The demons of alcohol, demons of drinking, smoking, addictions of all sorts, materialism, consumerism. There's so much going on in the world that affect us, that influence us. Those are the demons that are in our lives that affect us and affect the people around us. And so today, as we continue to celebrate the Eucharist, it is a call to all of us. What is our mission? What is my mission as a Catholic, as a Christian? What am I to do? The world is full of problems. The world is broken. There's a need for the world to be liberated, to be free. In order to be liberated, we are all called to that mission to make this world a better place to live, to fulfill this world with God love, God's love, and to touch this world with God's love and his mercy and his kindness. And so many of brothers and sisters today, let's continue to offer ourselves and be aware of, of what is God is calling us to. The mission to liberate this world liberate ourselves from the demons, devils, evils of this society, and to be a life-pleasing God. Amen.